All right, I'm going to take my scope up back tonight. This is the Aperture of 12 inch Dibsonian. It's about a $750, $80 scope new. I've got a couple goodies on it. And we'll be hooking a Sony A7S up to it and doing live view of whatever I see in the sky. The Sony really makes it stand out, everything. And plus, you got a light bucket for a scope. But I'll switch between mm -hmm. just a couple mm -hmm. videos of the sky at night with the Sony and the Aperture, maybe Orion, Mars, stuff like that. Uh, I've already videoed them before, but we have more ideal conditions tonight if the clouds stay away uh, won't be as moist out and the smoke from California wildfires won't be don't look like they're in the air uh, as they have been the last couple of weeks and I live in Wisconsin so but that's what we're gonna do and we will get rolling and see how it goes okay I got the laser to my scope pointing right at the Orion Nebula and pretty clear night. Here's my telescope. Said I'm out in the middle of nowhere. We'll get started. Pretty neat. There's the Orion Nebula, the horse head in all its glory. I'm running prime. That is clear. I'm gonna have to take some pictures of this. Uh, don't have a lot of moisture in the air tonight. It's cold. It's only 39 degrees, but that is live view. Total live view with my 12-inch scope. Uh, pretty awesome. Let's hit some pictures. So it is quite awesome. I don't know what this group of stars next to it are. Them are pretty neat in itself. Let's uh, swing up to... We'll look for something else. There's got the Pleiades. While I'm in prime, we'll hit them. And right there is the Pleiades. We'll hit that again. Very clear. And somewhere is going to be the Andromeda Galaxy. We might have to hunt that one down. And there's Mars. And there's the Pleiades. Remember it gets old looking at them. Pretty nice. Need to find the Andromeda. Andromeda straight up. We'll see. Right there we got a heck of a cluster of stars I'm trying to find the Andromeda, but we hit that. That is pretty neat. That's live view with the video on. Andromeda is like straight, straight up, so it's going to be hard to find. I'm not sure what cluster this is, but look at all them stars. Oh, I found the Andromeda. That's live view at Prime. I'm running 256,000 ISO, though. ISO. Let's turn that down. That's pretty neat. I'm going to try to take a couple pictures. So that's pretty cool. 
Uh, we'll look around a little bit more here. I'm going to put the 9 millimeter in and maybe try to find it. We'll see. Just see what it looks like. And then we'll hit Mars. I might look around for other stuff too. But that is the Andromeda. Pretty neat. Okay, right there is Mars. It's pretty decent. I can turn my ISO down or my shutter speed up actually. See some uh, features of the atmosphere. Very touchy, this dope is. Check that out. Zooming across, and that is Mars with a 9mm in. Try to zoom in quick. Pretty neat. And this is Jupiter in prime with four of its moons showing. It's pretty neat. Full video mode, 64,000 ISO. We're going to throw in a, either the Barlow or a 2 power or 9 millimeter eyepiece. Okay, here's Jupiter and its four moons with the ISO cranked way up. We're going to start turning that down and see what it looks like. I got a 9 millimeter in. Pretty sure you can see a moon in front of it. I'm going to turn my crop mode on so I can see better. There's Jupiter. Crop mode on. Here's a moon, just a sliver of it, getting ready to set. Pretty neat that prime. If I were to turn my ISO up, you'll see the dark part better. At least a little. Alright, I'm going to end up packing up for tonight, evening, actually morning. I'm cold standing here, but that is the Orion Live View Nebula. Just unreal. I'm going to take a couple more pictures just like this. And then we're going to call her quits for the day. Like I said, after a while, 30 some degree weather starts chilling a person. So there you are, Orion Nebula.